Hey everyone, welcome back to How This Song Was Made, it's Monday, so I just hope that everyone weekend was just fine, just as mine, and let's get started. You know that, uh, if you're watching this channel, you know that beside uh, royalty-free music, I also write a lot of film music for uh, uh, television and... Uh, uh, some film companies, video games, commercials, and I also write a lot of music for uh, documentaries. And today I will show you uh, how to write just a short cue for a documentary movie as a underscore. And because we are still in the royalty-free music, and with royalty-free is one instrument strongly connected, and it's ukulele then I will use uh, ukulele as the main, main instrument for, for uh, <laughs> film music underscore. Okay, so let's hear it and then I will tell you uh, what instrument I use and how it goes. Okay? So let's play it! Okay, so what do you think? I think it's just really cool and just go to the separate parts. First of all, the main idea came from the ukulele. It's a really, really simple, simple idea. If I just grab the ukulele. You can hear I'm playing like this simple yeah it's the one channel and the second channel goes ostinato like and together it sounds like this Nice and simple. Uh, when I do some film scores, I uh, don't use uh, bass guitars or or some uh, uh, synthetic basses, but mostly I use pizzicato on a bass. I call it pizza, and together with uh, with the ukulele, it goes like. And 
we are still in the underscore range so so some nice uh, big string pads come in handy and for this I use I use the strings or brasses or woodwings from Sonokinetics those are libraries uh, based on loops but on live recorded loops I mean all you can hear in this library is live recorded in a big hall with a huge orchestra and uh, the fun fact is although these guys are from uh, Netherlands they recorded it in Czech Republic like 10 kilometers from my place 10 kilometers is like I don't know four and a half five five miles from my place in a big recording and scoring hall in the city next to my <laughs> next to the town I live in so this is really really great and let's let's hear the the strings it's really some only some underscore and the woodwinds okay but this is only a, a bad so only a bad underscore and uh, I very often use this only as to fill the the space and over over it I always write some uh, uh, high strings melody or high instruments melody just like in this case and I often use the four strings I often use ADO anthology DVZ strings because DVZ is not a full uh, full section is only a part of the section and it uh, sounds uh, sounds brighter and more straight to your face so let's hear it solo the strings the DVZ ones this is a legato patch first and second violins the second violins are only playing the octaves from the from the first one just to make it bigger and also I added some uh, some horns uh, specifically uh, six horns and together with the strings it sounds like really simple melody but I recorded and played it live on my keyboard and uh, I use I'm using the expression expression controller to to add some uh, dynamics so it doesn't uh, sound flat but it evolves and now here in the second part there is also an instrument uh, a flute for woodwinds and uh, reeds instrument I always use uh, the Vienna ensemble it looks like this and there is a lot of lot of instruments this is a pretty pretty old library I mean like I got it like 15 years now and it still sounds great and I use it uh, very very often, often for film scoring it's not really uh, CPU or RAM hungry it really doesn't take much of of, uh, of the of the RAM or CPU so you can use some really quite large ensembles without the need of having some super super strong strong computer and the flute 
sounds like this. You can hear there is also some dynamics made by expression. It's this controller. wonder how long does it take to write such a short cue for a documentary movie or as an underscore for some video game or commercial or presentation. I count down and this whole cue from the opening the blank project to the to the part I realized it's finished, the music is never finished, but finished. It took me 40 minutes. 40 minutes and only because I'm using the tools, uh, the time-saving tools. Some of you may wonder why I'm using the the underscore bats from Sonokinetics, it's made to be used, you know. There is no shame in it using some uh, pre-recorded loops or, uh, or orchestral bats. You, you just can't create such a thing inside your computer, making, making it from the scratch, from the first, second violins, violas, cellos and basses, to make it so lushing bad, because you don't have the room, you don't have so much players and using it only from some uh, some libraries, uh, solo instrument libraries, it will take ages and it will never sound as good as this library. It really won't. And this library is made to be used in this particular purpose for underscores and the bats and in documentary music, video games and stuff. Of course, you got to use it wisely. So you got to use it as it was meant to use. So underscore and write some melody over it. Just like in this case. Okay guys, thank you for watching. It's Monday. So I think we are done for now and have a great start of the new working week and see you in the next video. Pavel out.